There's nothing inherently wrong with CB radio, but there kind of is. All right, so let's head into that. OK, I've got a great video for you today. I was talking to Alex today, Papa Delta 3 Radio Lima. I'm on his QRZ page at the moment. You know, everybody's got a slightly different page. And he's got a DX Commander. Oh, has he? I can't remember what he's got, actually. But anyway, he calls in every every Friday, if you listen on my live stream on a Friday. But... Papa Delta 3 Radio Lima. <laughs> Alex, you're 59, Alex, over. <laughs> Got a nice melody about his voice. Papa Delta 3 Radio Lima. He reminded me today that back many, many eons ago, I put a video out saying how... I didn't say CB was crap. I actually find a funny, funny feeling the thumbnail was that. But basically, I wanted it to untangle the problem with CB radio. So... Let's just let's just pretend you love food and you go to a restaurant and I tell you that you're only every, every time you go out. In fact, every time you eat, you're only allowed dishes with cheese. That's it. Or dishes with eggs. You're only allowed chicken. All right. And that's CB radio, you see, because CB radio, the 11 meter band are on and around 27 megahertz. You're stuck with it. That's all you can do. So, for instance, if the skip's in, you're having a good time and you're, you're DXing and you're talking to people, perhaps you've spoken to them before in the past and everything else, then it, it closes, particularly at night. And then you're left with the four people you normally speak to within 10 miles of your location because you've got like an IMAX 2000 or whatever it is on the roof. And, you, you know, you can clear the rooftops and you can have a little chat with the locals. And that's it. That is it. Where with me... When the band closes on 10 metres, or when the band closes on 12 metres, or when the band closes on 15 metres, I've got a load of other bands I can go for. A start off, if I want to talk to somebody local, I wouldn't use 10 metres. Uh, that is about, even if an antenna 10 metres off the ground, that's only one wavelength off the ground. So the two metre band is absolutely fantastic for local work. I'm five wavelengths off the ground at 10 metres, with, with two five eights phased, like a V2000 or whatever, I can do 50 miles in the main, just line of sight, 50 miles on the two metre band. Or I can drop down to 40 and I can cover, you know, I can chat to Fritz in Dusseldorf. I can speak to um, to Alex, PD3RL in, in the Netherlands. I can go to 80 metres. I can have a different experience on 80. Every band has got its own experience. And by the way, every band, it takes years to learn them all. If you're just stuck with your, with your cheese pie, with your 11 metres, that's it. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, yeah, I've listened to ham radio. There are a bunch of assholes down there. Um, the, the day you, you listened, there might have been a bunch of assholes. By the way, there was a couple of assholes in, in Costas the other day. If you go to your local shooting club or fishing club or yacht club or canoe club, there'll be arseholes in there too. I can guarantee if I dial into the 11 metre band, there'll be arseholes there as well. Or as they say in America, assholes. There's assholes everywhere in life, all right? Not just on ham, not just on CB. And the other thing is, if you can put my glasses on now, if you can understand this video, Calculating Power for Ham Radio, this one here, all right? If you can understand that, and by the way, it's, it's nine minutes long. You get it in the first two minutes. You can understand that. You can pass. You'll be able to pass the foundation exam. It's easy, all right? It's not hard. This is the, probably the most difficult of amateur radio exam is understanding Ohm's law and the power triangle. And I, I, I've got a way of explaining it, though. It's just, like, easier than eating cereal, right, or out of a cornflakes packet. There is no excuse why you can't broaden your horizons. Stick on CB as well. I was a big cb -er. Uh Tim, M0URX. Tom, M0YMY. Most of my friends, Tim, G5TM. He's still on CB to this day. You can still do that, but broaden your horizons. And by the way, I did a 10-watt uh, night a couple of years ago on 80 metres. I was getting all around Europe on 10 watts. So just because you think, oh, 10 watts, I couldn't, I've got 100 watt radio here. I couldn't go down to 10 watts on ham radio. 10 watts is fine. I was uh, talking to a guy, he was an M, 
M3, I can't remember where he was today, Ireland. He was in Ireland on 40 metres today. I was just having a break, dining around 40 metres from Ireland. I could hear him, you know, five and three, five and four, perfectly adequate. I wound the power up to give him an easier trip. because I've got some nice receive antennas at my place. But, you know, it was a walk in the park for him. And, and he was on 10 watts. He gen genuinely was 10 watts. You, you could kind of tell. He was a wee bit quiet, not quite as powerful as 100 watts. But the difference between 10 watts and 100 watts, and as you'll learn if you did the exam, um, is only 10 dB, all right? Have you got a 10 dB on your attenuator? 6, 12, something like that on your... Try it. Find a strong signal. Just dial it back 10 dB. Oh, oh hell, I can still hear them. Yeah, I know. Funny, isn't it? So, and that's what happens if trying to go from 100 to 1,000. You don't really get very far, right? Unless it's marginal, you're a CW guy or an FT8 guy or something like that. But on voice, if the guy is 5 and 7, 5 and 8, 5 and 9, if you reduce your power by 10 from 100 to 10 watts, nothing, nothing much is going to happen, all right? Because a lot of CB goes, will go, well, we've got 12 watts. And by the way, you haven't got 12 watts. Most of you guys on CB, I know, I've got 100 watt radio, if not more. All right, so don't give me that baloney, all right? Come down to 10 watts, come down to 40 metres, get your foundation licence. And by the way, within two months, you go, oh, it's a walk in the park. I'll do my intermediate now if you're in the UK, all right? If you're in uh, Australia or uh, America, you can do your general quite easily. And do your extra. You just need to learn all the questions, all right? Basically, what we're trying to do is, in this hobby, is um, basically... If you're polite on CB, well, be polite on ham radio, right? I think you'll find the people that are polite in the main, in life, the universe and everything, are just polite people anyway, all right? Assholes, assholes, call them what you will. There's assholes on CB, there's assholes on ham radio, there's assholes on PMR, GMRS, at your local club, the next restaurant you go to. Assholes, the world is full of them, all right? Ignore them, just be polite. And have a good time. And I think you'll find you'll easily make the transition. If you like CB, you'll love ham radio. That's my question. Uh, my question. That is my statement today. Next video is coming up here. And what I'll do, this video I'm watching here, I'll put a hard link to the next video. Watch that. Tell me what you think. Okay? All the best now. <laughs> I'll see you next time. And, uh, well, enjoy your radio. All right? Bye for now, then.